I'm not going to be putting out solely X card videos um, on the channel. We'll be back to normal routing, we'll be back to kind of woodworking projects and, and all sorts of just making stuff videos. Yeah, so I'm here on the uh, Inventables website. This is the, if you go to inventables.com, go to Xcarve, and then right at the very bottom, you get instructions, just click on that, and then there's all the, the different sort of subsections really. But I'm gonna head down here to, to drivers. Now it says about five minutes to set up, and I'd, I'd say that's probably not far from the truth actually. And there's two, two versions. Some people will be setting up on Windows, some on Mac. I've actually done both because there's going to be a Windows machine here specifically to, to run this and then obviously I've got the Mac. I'll go through the Mac first and it really is, you, this is the, the setup for the Mac. You don't need to install any drivers, you just connect it to the machine. So if you've got a Mac, that's definitely the way forward if you're a bit nervous about setting up drivers and stuff. Okay, so if you're, um, if you're working with, with Windows, then the first thing you need to do, assuming you haven't already got some kind of Arduino based machine, haven't been connected to your uh, computer, is basically head over to the Arduino site and click on the Windows installer, install the, um, the software. And basically, you, you just download it. Now, the next thing is for you to install the actual drivers of that onto the machine and that's so that your computer can basically talk to the Arduino board and hence your, your X card. It's really really simply simple to do. I basically downloaded this image and had it running side by side and it basically talks you through how you tell the XCarve software which port to look for, um, which COM port and, and get it to work. It is really, really simple for Windows 7, certainly. Numerous other um, versions of Windows out there I can't comment on, but certainly 7 was pretty straightforward. I didn't have any issues. And as I've already said with Mac, um, it, it just, just works for, for that. So once you've done the drivers, you're basically then gonna head on over to, to set the machine up. Um, this is basically makes sure that all your wiring is, is right, as I said before, with the, the limit switches, they don't stop it, they home the machine. So you have to tell your computer what size of um, machine you've got. So in this case, it's the 1000 millimeter. Also, you need to tell which machine, whether you've got the old Shapokos or Carvey, um, or whether it's an X-Carve, as we've got selected here. And you also need to tell it what kind of lead screw it's got. I suspect that's because of the turns and the, the thread pitch difference on each of the, the two, whether it's the Acme upgrade or whether it's the M8 threaded rod. What I need to do now is plug it in. Okay, so first thing you do is you're gonna test your wiring and now it's all plugged in and connected to, uh, to the laptop here. Um, what I can do is basically, it's pretty idiot proof, X, Y and Z. X goes left and right, Y goes up and down the board, and obviously Z goes up and down the vertical. So if I move this to the left, this is going to move to the left, if I move to the right, and move to the right. And if I've got the wiring wrong, that may or may not move. Now it would either not move at all, um, or it's going to move in the wrong direction. So let's assume that this is working. So we click yes, we check the Y, so we'll bring it down, move it back up. And let's say it's not moving. What it's going to say is, what's what's going on? Is it moving in the wrong direction, or is it not moving at all? Um, and then you need to select one of those. And I think it's a testament to the design that just because you've got the wires clicked in the wrong way, you can tell it to do that and invert the the settings so that it'll it'll work. So let's uh, just connect it. There we go. So yeah, that's working. That's working, and let's just see. Oh look, yeah, it's working. Um, so yes, it's all completely working. Next thing it's going to ask you to do is sort out what um, spindle you've got and what your preference is. Now, if you've got the the stock spindle as I have on here at the moment, um, you can set it up for automatic. So basically, the software is going to tell the spindle to start. There's also a switch on the box that goes from um, being on or off or automatic. I've set mine to automatic but obviously 
if you're using a trim router or a quarter inch router in there, you have to set that to manual and turn that on and off um, on its own. So tell the machine what spindles, uh, and we can turn the spindle on, and we can turn it off. I've got homing on here, so I'm going to have to move, if I click on it, um, I'll move the laptop out of the way. So let's hit the Z home. Um, and it moves towards both the X and the Y homes. It's going to hit the Y first, or the X first, sorry. Hit that. And that's going to come over. There we go. Once it's homed, then basically said the machine's set up ready, and what we could do is run the uh, the test car. So I'm going to click on that, and what it does is it it will ask you to install a local copy of Easel on your machine. So this um, this program down here comes up automatically. I'm not going to use that, um, but it brings us neatly on to to Easel as a piece of software. So um, stay tuned for that. Okay, so that's basically setting up the, the drivers. Mac, piece of cake, just plug it in. With the, the Windows side of it, then you do need to make sure that you don't load the software onto the, the G-Shield. Um, I think a few people had problems where the Arduino software was trying to then load one of its um, like default programs or something onto the G-Shield and that wipes what's already on there and basically kills it completely. I think if memory serves when I did it on the Windows machine here, I didn't have the machine connected to the computer when I installed the Arduino stuff. But I might just be making that up. So um, if you have set it up on Windows or you had that problem, then leave a comment because you know I, I can't physically remember because it was a couple of weeks ago and, and obviously I've been asleep since then. So it's say if you've got um, if you've got anything to chip in, particularly from the Windows side, then um, hopefully you know everyone can um, read through the comments and, and gain from that experience as well. I'm not going to go into using Easel software. I'm going to run that as a separate um, a separate little quick video because A, I'm still learning it and B, there aren't any really kind of tutorial videos out there on using Easel. Um, but I'm going to stick with Easel. I know a lot of people are doing sort of vectored imports from things like uh, Illustrator and Inkscape and stuff like that. Um, but I've only just got in Inkscape because it's free and I'm cheap um, and I'm learning that as well. And I'm trying to learn one thing at a time rather than just be bombarded. Hopefully it's been informative. Hopefully it's been relatively interesting. And I genuinely hope that you got something out of this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There will be a whole range of stuff. And if you are getting bored with XCraft stuff, then have a look through my older videos as well. There's some, some quite cool playlists. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you again next time. Take care.